Hi Libra, welcome to April. This is Teresa from tarotbyt.com and I'm getting ready to do your April Love Taroscope. So before I do that, let me ring in some good energy and create some sacred space around this reading. I'm having some strange things with the camera. <laughs> it's focusing in weird places. Maybe we have a spirit. So anyway, thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And thank you for your comments. I really appreciate them and I read all of them. So keep them coming. Um, and thank you for those who've um, purchased readings. It's been my pleasure to serve you. So I hope I've been helping people with these readings. So let's see what's going on for Libra. What's happening? You have a full moon in this month in April. And it's going to be uh, challenging because it's going to be squaring Pluto and opposing Uranus. So anything can happen when Uranus is involved. Um, be prepared for fireworks or the unexpected. And that's going to be happening in your relationship sector. Uranus is going through the seventh house. <laughs> so, a lot of change in April. You might decide to finally make a change that you've been wanting to do for a long time. So anyway, that's ast astrologically. Let's see what's going on with the tarot. Let's see if the tarot um, supports that. And usually it does. You know, when I do astrology, I also do astrology. And I do tarot. A lot of times the readings are very close to the astrology. You know, the energies are the same. So it's just a different method of getting the information. But it's it's really cool when there's synchronicity like that. So what does Leo uh, Libra need to know about love in April? What's coming up for Libra? What is coming up for Libra in April? May only the highest forces be present at this reading to ensure that the truth be told. Mm, can't get a grip on my cards today. Okay. <laughs> the Chariot. The Ace of Swords. The Page of Swords. The Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Seven of Wands. The King of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Emperor, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So the Chariot. You've been a busy bee scattering your energy. The Chariot's a card about victory. But it's a, it's a card of can, victory over your mind. Victory over your... Um, your actions. Sometimes, you know, we get, you know, um, Libra has a tendency to be like a social butterfly. You know, you want to try to sample, you're like a butterfly, you want to sample every flower. And um, sometimes that can prevent you from being successful because you're, you're lacking in focus. You can't make up your mind. Do I want this? Do I want that? So you try a little bit of everything. You get, you know, life's like a smorgasbord. And um, if you want to be successful in life, you have to focus. You have to be focused. You have to know what you want, and you have to be like, to have it make a beeline for that, or put all your energy into that, channel it into that. And that's what this chariot's about. It's about channeling your energy, not being distracted by all the different options. So um, if there's a relationship situation, it's possible that you have several options available to you in love and you're trying to decide which is the better option which is where should I focus my energy where should I what relationship is the most important in my life you know which person is going to give me the love that I need and once you figure it out um, which I think you know April March and April have been with the with Venus retrograde in March and and with Mercury going retrograde in April, it's not a time for making big decisions. It's not a time for making bold moves. It's a time for evaluation and really thinking, what do I want? 
How am I going to get there? And tweaking my plans, tweaking your plans on how to get there. So if there's a relationship, um, it would be a good time to work on it. And sometimes people from the past come back and, you know, you might be reconnecting with some people that you once knew and seeing if you want to do it again. You know, can this work? Can we try again? Or it could be that you go back to a relationship and, you know, just try to make it better. You know, if you're in a relationship and you're having some problems, um, you just need to work at it. So you have the Ace of Swords here. So you're really fired up. So you have this goal that you really want to achieve. Um, it could be even a career move or just a life goal. I, I want I, I want this thing. But to get to, to what you want, you're going to have to give up some other things. You can't have it all. So you might be, you know, you have to call in your scattered energy. And you have to focus. That's what this Ace of Swords is about. It's having It's having that warrior energy knowing it's like a warrior knows what he wants and he's you know in battle you don't you can't look around you have to focus on your goal <laughs> so if you want to achieve it and put your energy in that direction and that's this ace of swords you're going to be fired up in april you're going to be really driven to achieve something um you had the page of swords in the past so you might have heard some you might have had to have some difficult conversations in a relationship. Uh, or, you ha or you've had to look really carefully at the people in your life and really make some tough decisions. Um, because I feel like you're you're considering, and this is in the recent past, so you might have already made the decision to move away from a relationship and move towards something more fulfilling. Um, because the Eight of Cups is about... Um, walking away from someone or something that was once very important to you but is no longer fulfilling and so you just have you just want to leave it behind because you're in search of something that's going to feed your soul you can't just go through the motions of life anymore so you may have made the decision to leave someone behind and move towards something that's much better for you that's a better fit and you've had some opposition because the seven of wands you've had to fight for what you believe in so there might have been people around you saying you know advising you against it like saying don't do that you know um and the seven of wands is also about setting boundaries and so you might be where in the past you know you might have been trying to please everybody and giving up your sense of self to make everyone else happy now you might decide you know what i need to be happy too and so people are pushing the envelope now. They're testing your new self to see if you really mean it. So you've had to stand up. You're going to be doing that in April. You're going to be setting your boundaries and standing up and defending them. So you may have to defend your position. You know, so if you decide to leave a relationship, uh, it's possible that you might get some flack from people. And you have to, do, you know, explain why this is important, why you're doing the right thing. And you might even be experiencing some hostility. You have this five of wands here. Um, so that's in your environment. The people around you may not be happy with your choices. But you have to do what's right for you. And you have this king of swords here. The king of swords is about, it could be a legal situation that's coming up. You might have to, if you're leaving a relationship or a marriage, there could be some legal things that have to be sorted out. Uh, you might have to split property or, but it could also be, um, the five of swords can, I mean, the, uh, knight of king of swords can be that you're trying to decide what's, what's real from what's not real. You're, you're trying to separate the truth from, from the lie. And especially with this page of swords here, this can sometimes represent spying or gossip. So there might've been some news that came up that you're not sure if it's true or not. And you're trying to get to the bottom of it. Um, maybe there's someone in your life you feel is being too harsh with you. Um, that could be the hostility here because I'm seeing these swords of where you feel like you're being judged and you're being judged harshly. Um, and you could be concerned about financial security too. Um, because the Ten of Pentacles is the wealth card. It's the, it's the home, the happy home. So it's possible... If you're leaving a relationship, you're worried about leaving the home 
or losing your home in some way, losing financial stability in some way. Because maybe this person that you're dealing with is being vindictive. Because sometimes this five swords energy can be vindictiveness or anger, you know, passive aggressive anger, just someone being difficult. Um, because they're not willing to accept the truth. Or they're not willing to accept the verdict. Um, but, you know, the fives are about change. You have to, you know, cut your losses and move on. So there might be some financial uh, loss associated with what you want to do. But you're moving toward, here's the king, uh, the emperor. And that's in your wish fulfillment sector. So I feel that you're moving towards someone who's very stable, who's a very stable and important influence in your life. Someone, now this could be, it could be an Aries, it could be a Scorpio, maybe even a Capricorn. And if it's not any of these signs, um, it could be someone who's just very, very responsible, someone that you, you can really trust and count on. Um, someone who is... Um, has a lead, has leadership or executive ability. Someone who knows how to make make things happen in their life, knows how to build things. Um, and it could be even you. You're trying to build more stability into your life. You're trying to build something that's going to last. Um, but to do that, you may have had to let things go in other areas. You might have had to move away from someone. Uh, may It may even be a change of residence. If you're thinking about... Um, living somewhere else, or you might have already moved somewhere else. Um, and this king of swords, that can represent an air sign. It could be um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So this person is, is he's got harsh energy. Um, maybe he's just very rigid in his thing. He's kind of stubborn and rigid. And he may have some I don't know, you might have been dealing with someone in the past who wasn't very responsible or what is kind of weak, like a weak person, not willing to take responsibility for his life and him and himself. Um, and you're just tired of it. Or you're just tired of taking care of everybody and you just want, you would like to be in a relationship where you could just relax and not have to worry about everything, you know, and have someone else take care of things. So, and then you have this Queen of Cups at the end, and that's someone who is very spiritual, very psychic, very intuitive, very creative. So that could be someone that you're interested in. You might be, and that could be male or female. That you're interested in someone who's very, very, seems very compassionate. Um, that could be a water sign. It could be someone born under the sign of um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But even if it's not that sign, It could be um, just a person with a lot of compassion, maybe even a healer or a psychic or an artistic person. Um, so that could be someone that's coming up in the future that you're interested in. Um, and it could also mean that you need to tap into your own intuition to see um, what direction you want to go in. But I feel like you're moving into more stability, but you may have to make some sacrifices to get there. And you're going to have to fight for what you believe in and fight for what you want. Um, but ultimately I think the outcome will be better. Um, you might see things start to come together in the fall. Um, that's when I think you're going to start to see some results from all your work that you start now. Um, so get your ducks in a row in April and really figure out what you want. So that you can hit the ground running in May whenever all the planets go direct and they're out of their shadow, you know, Venus and Mercury. Um, that's when you want to take action. You don't want to take action in April. You don't want to make major decisions in April. You just want to lay low in April. And, you know, don't get involved in drama. That's this five of swords. Someone might be trying to drive, uh, get you involved in some kind of argument or drama. You know, they're trying to push your buttons. Don't get involved. Don't go there. Just, you know... If you're dealing with someone who's difficult, charge neutral. Uh, don't let them get to you. And just focus on the future and the, uh, the stability and the happiness that you're, that you're moving toward. Um, and just cut your losses. If you're in a relationship that you're not happy, cut your losses and move on. And it may involve some kind of legal thing. 
Um, and if you've met someone new who offers you more stability, um, someone who's more responsible, I would go there. I would focus my energy there. And don't waste your energy in battling a situation that you can't fix. So that's my message to you, Libra. I hope that this reading has been a help to you. And um, especially with the Libra full moon coming in April, that's good. you're gonna you're gonna see some truths when at the full moon, and you're gonna have some kind of closure at the full moon. And I think that's April 11th, 11th or 12th, uh, around that time. So um, be prepared for that. And then after that, there's a Taurus new moon. So that will, and that's a good new moon. So that'll be a time for new beginnings. That'll be at the end of the month. Um, so the Libra full moon can bring things to a climax. So whatever's been simmering under the surface may come out at that time. And you may have some some battles or some you get, where you're going to have to stand up and defend yourself. But you'll do fine. Um, just don't, like I said, don't get let people push your buttons. Don't get caught up in something where you're going to say or do something that you regret. Just try to stay cool, stay calm. And just focus on your goal. Focus on where you want to go in the future. Um, don't get, and, and just, you know, don't let people drag you down. And focus on this king, this emperor. This, this person who brings you stability and, and love. So that's my um, message for April, Libra. And I hope you have a wonderful April. And I hope, I wish you luck and love and all good things and blessings. And I will talk to you again next month in May. Bye now.